Here. I pull to the side, but he always did it this way. Okay, someday I should spend time figuring out why. Three, four. And okay, then one, two, three, four. Jump. X block. Stay out. Oh, let's stay in that X block. Roundhouse moves too fast. I think you need one. You had your balance in that stance. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Hey! No. Don't don't pop in there. You're here. Just step out and like this. Okay. Stand. Then step across behind. Like this. Hand back here. Go across your foot. Left foot behind your right foot. Like that. One. Two. Up. Three. Four. I can probably show you a hundred different ways of, okay, then I'm, I'm doing that last move. And everybody seems to have their own pet theory as to how, how this last, this in up should be done. Okay? Can I do it one more time? I think we have time for one more. All right, ready? Feet. One. Two. Up. Water flow. Three. Four. This is done slowly with an exhale. Now just like your foot's an arrow, hit the target. Hey. Elbow. One. Block. Jab. Hey. As, you, as you bounce from here, the fist goes. It's a, that kind of action. That's right. Jump. Hold your position. Okay, now don't block down here. Block out here. Because really, where's it? The attacker isn't going to be behind your knees. Okay. You can't quite get there. Okay. Then up. One, reach. Touch your Put your foot over the other side. Then in. You get in. Yeah, yes. Okay, wait. You're right. You were like this. What you do is you step way over here. You step too far and you threw yourself up. Yeah. So it's one, two, three, up, four, five, up. Okay. Now let's do that more seconds. here that if nobody ever said anything again you guys all knew the kata exactly what you did it today and you felt that was exactly perfect and you all got back together a year ago here's what you would argue about was this hand this way or this way was it all it was up here see somebody's going to say it's up here what are you guys going to say it's here the other guy's going to say it's here right which is right you know how you did it do you remember how you did it? You did you were up there, I know. And you were, sure? Okay, I didn't memorize you. How was your hand? You're positive. Sure. Larry? Mm. How was yours? Do you remember? One of you two, and I don't remember which one was this way. One of you was this way. I remember you being this way, and I remember him being high up here. That's what gave me the idea of talking about like this. See how easy it is all of a sudden to come out with three different ways from the same movement? Okay, I always learned it. I, I do it this one, white doesn't. So see, I don't even want to do it. I pull here. Yeah, I do my white doesn't. Now, does that really necessarily change the product? Come take a look. She does it this way too. Because our main interpretation on that is you're over here. Alright, you're right here. I block and I hit this guy. He comes in and is attacked. You attack me. You're here, you're over here. Now you stay right there. You stay right here. And you reach out with that hand. And you're over there. So you grab, I go one, two. You come in, one, two. See the action? Okay. He comes in here, grabs, right? One, 
two, he comes here. One, two. Same thing. But that's the type of movement it is. Here's this another uh, interpretation of the same thing. He grabs. Put that hand. Grab the shoulder. Okay. So let's we'll line up and you gotta get out of here before you get locked in or something. Uh, don't let little things in the form at this level of practice right now overly concern you. Get your stances correct. Get your movements, your big motions. We can take out the elbows going out, the point here or here. But if I have you think of your hand all the time, are you going to remember what direction to go? Probably not. Why should I get you involved in little things that make you little people? Or is near your mind out? Let's let you look at the overall view. And then we can get, once you understand that, then you can start to see the principles behind the action. And once you understand how your hips drive, then maybe you understand how, you, how your wrist has to go. See? The wrist, all the time, pump down. Bottom, up. There's a strong twisting. The same push pull that you do with your hips, you do with your wrist. And that comes out in front. See? One. See my One. Palm, palm. Palm up, palm down. See? See my palm? One, two. See how they always rotate 180 degrees at the beginning of that kata? One. One, two, three, four, five. Here, one, two. All the time. So we can then study at the advanced level. Like you guys know, when you know the cut, then we can look at those things. And then we can worry about this, that, and the other things. So oftentimes the guy isn't around all the time. Okay, we can name it to no call his own, but doesn't always see the things from start to finish. He gets the beginning and the end, just the middle, or just gets the middle and doesn't see the beginning or end. Okay? And that should, you shouldn't let things like that get you. I've seen, I've seen so many arguments from my girl around how to pass the black ones just yarn. Correct. Okay? Correct. Thank you. I hope I helped a little bit tonight. Thank you. Um, anybody who 